मस्टर टू ओतुल वॉट इज वारिंग यू इज इट दैट यू हैवेंट दैट ग्रेट दैट इंटेंस रेस्टलेसनेस फॉर गॉड ओतुल हाउ कैन वी कीप आर माइंड्स ऑन गॉड मस्ट अभ्यास योग द योग ऑफ प्रैक्टिस यू शुड प्रैक्टिस कॉलिंग ऑन गॉड एवरी डे इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू सक्सीड इन वन डे थ्रू डेली प्रेयर यू विल कम टू लॉन्ग फॉर गॉड how can you feel that restlessness if you are immersed in worldliness day and night formally jodu molik enjoyed spiritual talk he liked to engage in it himself but nowadays he doesn't show that much interest he surrounds himself with flatterers day and night and indulges in worldly talk it was dusk the lamp was lighted in the room sri ramakrishna chanted the divine names he was singing and praying he said chant the name of hori repeat the name of hori sing the name of hori again he said ram 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 then o oh mother thou dost ever enjoy thine eternal sports tell us o mother what is the way we have taken refuge in thee we have taken shelter at thy feet finding girish restless Sri Ramakrishna remained silent a moment. He asked Tej Chandra to sit near him. The boy sat near the master. He whispered to M that he would have to leave soon. Master to M. What did he say? m he said he would have to go home master why do i attract these boys to me so much they are pure vessels untouched by worldliness a man cannot assimilate instruction if his mind is stained with worldliness milk can be kept safely in a new pot but it turns sour if kept in a pot in which curd has been made you may wash a thousand times a cup that has held a solution of garlic but still you cannot remove the smell 